So guys, I want to do a little recap. It's uh, it's still only just the end of the 1300 turn. Uh, and we're, we've, we've just finished Artie, Artillery. And I, I, as I look at the map, I am really wondering the uh, validity of continuing this particular uh, campaign game. What we're looking at here is the 1319. And uh, most of these guys have between, yeah, three, two, two, one, three hits. So they're, they're effectively done as a fighting force, which means they probably couldn't even recapture Starhooky for one, uh, for one victory point if they tried against these three you know, platoons here. So definitely not going to be able to, cap to capture Trevino on any revised op sheet. Currently they're not assigned and they're brewing a new op sheet which is to defend uh, do a PD in this area in an effort to try and uh, keep the road open so that the next reinforcements can come in. Right, so that's that there. Now, if we scan up this way, we can see the illustrious 452nd, who, full of piss and vinegar, did try an attack here and were soundly pushed back, and they have two, one, two, they have two full, three full platoons. So one company of men left out of three companies and a couple of MG guns. Not, uh, not to be outdone, I guess they could have a crack at it here. I've diluted the defense of the Germans pretty heftily here. There is a martyr there still. And there's now just one company and all of the MGs are here, which have taken a little bit of a beating from the rocket attacks here. But, you know, if a battalion could come in, get past the, uh, the uh, we drop these guys off the op sheet and put them on an attack to capture Stahuki. If they, if the, they could break past all of this and not be threatened by the Trevino forces, there's the 8th and the 9th companies down here now, then I, I think, could a battalion, full battalion take this position up here? Probably, you know, it's pretty weak now, but well, obviously I would uh, pull my forces back from Torino. Okay, so this side of the map is kind of screwed for the Soviets. Let's see what the rest of the map looks, looks what the rest of the map looks like. Over here, we have the 445. The 445 has literally been reduced to those two units in this MG, these two MGs. That's it. There's one other one other company here that has four steps, four step loss. So it's done. Here's another one here. It's got two steps. Uh, it has one fully operational platoon. This tank company uh, just failed. So they're out of there. And we uh, did not uh, even get close to our objective. Now where things are going okay is the push which I actually found out historically is what these guys did is push through these woods here and, and, and come around through here and try and cross over here. Uh, so the 253rd this is all part of uh, a, a larger uh, division but these guys have all done okay there's uh, quite a bit of damage damaged units in here but they we were just starting to get some nice tempo going here though. I finally got the right combination of units and we put uh, quite a number of steps of fire onto these guys. They actually bugged out of their prepared defense position here. So not as good a setup for the Germans as I thought it was. Um, nevertheless, uh, small Kovo seems a long way away there's a lot of tough units here. I'm not sure these guys can, uh, these guys have the staying power to get there. They have these guys in their rear and I've got the 316 tank trying to take out this dug in position. 
are trying to do it by themselves, it's become an expensive proposition. Fortunately, I haven't failed yet on my uh, op sheet, on my morale rolls. And down here, this is where if you've been reading the various AARs, uh, I have a guy called Shmernov, just for fun, the grandson of uh, the illustrious vodka maker who is leading the 451 and the 453 and not doing a terribly good job of it, uh, typically attacking in masses and waves. Uh, these, these guys are just busted up so bad. Uh, I've got, nope, he has two hits. He has three hits, steps, whatever you want to call them. There you go, there's one full platoon partial platoon I have two full platoons in the 453rd three no two full platoons they're all AT guns there's one guy and he has hits so that <laughs> that's even worse than I thought so they're done they're two and so when reinforcements come at 1600 that means we need to cycle through and we can do that we can fast forward through all the way through the 1st of December. But right now we're sitting at a major victory for the Germans. They only have, uh, now that they've recaptured Stahuki, they have only, uh, well, they haven't lost any, any they've only lost Noviki and uh, Goncharova. And I, I, I think I could retake, I could, I could clean this board. Oh, actually, here you go. So they have two, they have four. So that's still a major victory, I believe. Let's look real quick. Yeah, that's still a major German victory on the 30th. And I mean, man, we're, we're, the Germans are way ahead of the curve and the Russians are way behind. So my question is, and I might pop a poll up, do we want to keep playing this or reset it or uh, you know, start another, maybe start a smaller scenario or do something completely different? Anyway, just, just thinking out loud with you.